welcome back to my channel my name is Lachelle Trans, and in today's video I am coming to you with another wig review on this unit you see me wearing right here this unit was sent to me from ebonyline.com I will have them and this unit linked in the description box below okay sis so again I received this unit from ebonyline.com and they sent over this unit right here you already know it's a Bobby Boss unit so let's go ahead and get into it Okay, sis, so here is the unit, and we have here Bobby Boss's HD Ultra Sculpt, Sculpt, <laughs> Ultra Scalp Illusion. Um, it is in the style MLF 470S Cherry Short. Um, it's premium synthetic, it's in the color 1B, and it has a 13 by 5 deep lace. It's a pre plucked hairline, natural baby hairs, free parting. Um, it says that um, it's hand tied, the um, parting space is hand tied. Um, it's extra wide and deep lined. Uh, it says powder blend, blended effect. It has a midi fresh cap that's safe and clean and protects you from pathogens and UV rays. Um, and that's basically about it. It does say it's curling iron safe. It doesn't say to what temperature, but of course we all know up to 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, but with it being premium synthetic, I probably wouldn't put it on that high of a temperature. But yeah, girl, this is the unit, a cute little bob. And let me show you the inside. Here you have the double lined um, cap that has the powder blended effect. And then you have the two combs, one on either side. You'll probably better see it uh, when I put it on. But yeah, girl, let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, sis, so I'm just starting off by putting my stocking cap on and my hair is just in a ponytail, um, nothing special. So yeah, I'm putting on the wig now, getting it situated. And then after I put on my wig, we will start to seal her down. So to lay my wig, I'll be using my Got To Be Glue Free spray per usual and I'm just going to spray around the front of my head and then use my blow dryer to seal it in. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm taking that powder and putting it all around the lace. This just makes it blend a lot better. After I complete that, I'm then going to go back in with that Got To Be Glue Free Spray and spray all along my hairline and then um, use my blow dryer to seal it in. And since this just creates the perfect melt. So sis, now I'm going to show you what the parting space looks like. Um, as you can see, the side part, you can't really do a deep side part because you hit um, some tracks. But the side part is still a good side part. You still get some good parting space uh, with the unit. So yeah, I'm just showing you the space. So now I'm just playing around with the unit. I don't really know how I want to style it. I feel like the side part would be really cute. Um, and then I'm feeling the middle part. So yeah, girl, I'm just playing around and then we're going to go ahead and style it up. So 
so I decided to go with a middle part um, so after I get my part situated and straight then I'm going to go in with my hot comb and this is just to better lay down the parting space um, and get the hair to lay flat because the hair is a bit flimsy um, and then I'm going to style up the front as well So now for the baby hairs, I'm just doing something plain and simple. I'm going to take out the hair that I'll be using for the baby hairs and then do the same to the next side. After I do that, I'm going to cut them and then I'll be curling them with my little flat iron. And then to lay down the um, edges, I'll be using some got to be glue free spray and then I'm just going to swoop them over. Now I'm going back in with some more Got To Be Glue Free Spray and just spraying the top of where the part is and in the front. Then I'm going to use my edge control brush um, or my edge brush and just brush that in. This acts as a wax stick so if you have a wax stick use that. Um, this is what I have on hand. So yeah after I do that I'm going to go back in with my hot comb and I'm just basically trying to lay that hair down as flat as I can. So here is what we are looking like and honey girl when I say this wig is so bomb it looks so good and I feel like with synthetic units I never really get just a flat out 1B color I always get like a 1B and something and or just a color period and girl I forgot how good it looks just to have a plain 1B color it looks really good girl but yes yeah, sis don't let me ramble I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so you can see the back. So that was the back sis. So let's go ahead and get into these details. So I feel like this unit is in between big hair friendly and not big hair friendly. Um, I did have like just a little bit of a struggle to get it on. It was like a snug fit. I feel like this unit fits like a glueless unit. And you know with glueless units they make them a little tighter just so um, it's secure on your head because they don't expect you to glue it down. So I kind of feel like that is the fitting that I'm getting with this unit. Um, it doesn't hurt my head or anything like that. It's just a little snug but I feel like us big head ladies still can get some wear out of it just beware that it will be a little tighter um, the texture y'all the texture is really bomb I really like a unit that is thick and has like that blowout feel or whatever but it still has a shaky feel so it's like in between like yakky and then like silky if that makes sense uh, so it does have a nice texture it's flowy you can run your fingers through it I hadn't received any shedding and I hadn't received any tangling and I don't really expect that with shorter units um, I feel like with shorter synthetic units you don't really get a lot of tangling nor shedding just because it's easier to maintain easier to manage and whatnot so yeah and I feel like with the uh, shortness of the unit you get a longer wear out of it as well so I really feel like this unit can last three weeks and or more with good care um, so yeah girl it feels really nice it's really thick hair you guys like thick honey like if this was a human hair wig I would say it's 200% um, density that's how full it is and I love a full unit I really feel like I wish that human hair units came like this full and this just like because normally human hair units it'll be full in the back but then once you get in the front it's like thin or whatever I just that's just my experience and I just love it when I say I love a good synthetic bob because they're full all the way around and they're flowy and movie like sis the unit is bomb 
Um, the lace melted really good, you guys. The parting space that you get with this lace is right around in here um, or whatever. And the part on the side, if you do want to do a deep part, the parting stops maybe like right here. So you would have to part it right here. Because once you get further right there, uh, you only have maybe an inch of parting space. Um, so yeah, but you can still do a side part. It'll just be a little closer in. But again, the unit melted very nicely. I can't even see that double lines lace. Um, maybe you could see it on camera, but in person, I can't see the double lines lace at all. I did go back in with some powder to um, the hairline as well as powder to the part um, just to clean it all up. And girl, it looks really, really good. Again, the hair just melted and laid down nicely. Like overall, sis, this is a keeper. This is definitely going to be in my rotation of wigs, like girl is bomb so yeah girl i'll have it linked in the description box below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye